Okay, this is Harry Berry's 12 inch by 60 inch organ pipe whistle. He built it himself. All right, Harry, did a good job. Okay, that was Harry's 8 inch by 72 inch organ pipe. Did a mighty good job on that one too, Harry. Now the next whistle we have here uh, is one of two that are, uh, I, I guess you could use the term homemade, but I would rather use the term experimental. Um, the uh, thought behind this was, what if we made a whistle that was bigger uh, than anything else. Uh, 12 inches in diameter, 60 inches in length. Uh, this equals the size of the Kiwatin's whistle. And uh, again, going back to position number seven, that's the Assiniboia's whistle, which is uh, 12 inches shorter. So, uh, Mr. Harry Berry, who's in attendance today, he's raising his hand there on the trailer. Uh, he constructed this whistle, and I think you will find it, it is an amazingly deep whistle. Uh, you can feel it as much as you can hear it. Uh, the frequency of this whistle is down at a point, almost to the point where uh, the human ear can't hear the sound anymore. It's really just almost a wave pattern that you feel. So again, we have an experimental 12 inch by 60 inch uh, organ pipe type whistle. You get that thing awake up there. Remember that? Okay, here we have the second of the two experimental whistles. Uh, this one happens to be eight inches in diameter, and the overall length is 72 inches. So it's a full six feet. Uh, this one I've never heard before, but I can expect that it's even a deeper, deeper sound than anything else we'll hear today. So an eight inch organ pipe, Experimental whistle. No, it's never been touched. Yours is uh, 12 and a half by 10 by 7 and a half. And that's what mine was after I, after I cut out the, the cutout. And uh, I.
I couldn't hear much of it from where I am uh, with my ear protection, but I certainly could feel it. I could feel it going through me. Uh, exceptionally powerful, deep sound. Okay, then in position number 15 uh, is interesting. Uh, it could be considered uh, uh, by many as homemade. However, uh, there was a lot of science that went into making this. And I would more like to consider this a, an experimental whistle. Uh, this whistle represents uh, probably one of the deepest sounds that a whistle can make and still be heard. Uh, this particular whistle is eight, uh, eight inches in diameter with a bell length of 72 inches, uh, which will give it a very, very deep sound. It'll be the deepest sounding whistle that you'll hear here today. And actually, you're more inclined to feel it as much as hear it, because it's down on the lower end of the audible range for our hearing. Uh, so again, uh, this whistle, uh, it'll be a single note, and it'll be a very deep sound. This is an eight inch, extra, extra, extra long bell whistle. Okay, uh, position number 15. Uh, we have a whistle here that uh, some would consider just simply homemade. Uh, however, I like to think of it as uh, somewhat of an experiment. Uh, there's quite a bit of science that went into making this whistle. Uh, the builder took a lot of care. Uh, this, the, the principle here was to make a whistle that uh, probably was just about as low as a whistle could blow and still be audible. This has a bell length of 72 inches, which is as long as anything that we've ever known of in terms of uh, any kind of steam whistle. Uh, it also is an organ pipe type uh, with the square holes in, in each side of it, uh, square openings. And I think you'll agree with me that when you hear this, you will feel it go through you as much as you will hear it. Uh, the sound waves are of such low frequency, they actually, you can feel them go through you. Uh, the eight inch, extra, extra, extra long bell, organ pipe.
Now didn't I tell you you could feel it? You could feel it going through you. Okay, the next whistle here.